sky. These incidents have become a reflection of me, him, Lewis. He will not be held responsible for your mistakes, our mistakes. Mary, this has happened far too often. As assistant manager, you're responsible once more, and I'll put you out on the street myself. He will. Lewis. Not me. I... He means it. Now get back to work. Welcome to the Excelsior Hotel. For how many nights will you be staying with us? Just one. Just one. Okay. Now, if you'll wait right there, I'll help you with I your bags. I don't have any bags. May I help you, sir? No, thank you. Quite a lovely view, isn't it? Quite. Perhaps this would be easier if you would give me a little privacy. We here at the Excelsior want to ensure our guests' safety. I'm sure that isn't in your job description. I made it my job. Nice hat.
All right, number one, I like the hat. Number two, I'm very good at my job. You like my hat, right? Uh, I'm sorry. Never mind. <clears throat> my manager thought you might find this room more hospitable. Yeah. Bigger windows and better wallpaper. I've always felt that there was something special about this place. I just never imagined having to lose it. It's always reminded me of going to my grandmother's house. Well, because initially you're nervous. Huh? Someone else's house. You mind your piece and cues. But it's your grandma. Well, not your grandma, my grandma. You wouldn't go visit my grandma. The point is, it's about feeling special. And I feel the most special when I think about my grandma. Or anyone else's. You gave me a poolside room, didn't you? Does this hotel offer a turndown service? Of course. Just do 
what I told you. Of course, right now! What are you doing? Jay, what is going on? I'm so glad you're here. Hold these, please. Why were you all wet earlier? <laughs> it's a great story. You're really gonna like it. But uh, I gotta finish doing this first. So if you could meet me in like 10 minutes, I'll tell you all about it. Okay. There's been an accident! Bert, what are you doing? For a dollar, I'd do anything. Not so good at your job now, are ya? What are you doing? My baby! For a dollar, he'll do anything. When you're done here, come find me. Him, Lu Lewis. I fired Mary this morning. Why? There hasn't been another incident. Oh, yes, there has. Bullshit! I found another body in the garbage this morning. And besides, I warned her. He warned her. One more incident, she'll be out on the street. That's a mistake. Mary's more than just a member of management. She's what makes this place a home. She makes everybody who walks through those doors feel good about themselves, no matter how awful it is on the other side. Without her, this place would fall apart. Well, then it'll be your ass, won't it? You know, I could still theoretically die from this height. Jay. Mary. Mary. I've decided to go with you. I Jay. Hmm? When I said that there was something special about this place, what I should have said was that what was most special about it was you. I love this hotel, Jay, because it's where you are. You're what I can't imagine losing. Jay. You're my grandma.
<clears throat> Jay, get back inside. No. If Mary goes, I go. Was that a threat? Doesn't matter to me one way or the other. I can promote Bert instead. Hell, by the end of the week, you'll be begging me to let you out on the roof so you can... <laughs> Does this mean that you're the manager now? I don't know. I believe it does. <laughs> so listen, you think we could fire Bert? At least have him clean up the driveway. Mm. Someone's gotta do it. <laughs> it's not gonna be me. 